Well, Luther Burrell, thanks very much for joining me. Um, ahead of winning your fourth cap for England, how have the last few weeks been in summary, really? Yeah, it's been um, a huge, huge achievement for me. It's been a proud moment, obviously, the first week to get out to France and get that first cap under my belt was fantastic and you know it's a moment that obviously I'm going to cherish for the rest of my life and then obviously since then it's just been a bit of a whirlwind coming up against the players that I've, I've come against you know last week it was Brian O'Driscoll and you know Darcy and this week it's Roberts and Jonathan Davis you know it just doesn't get much better than this from from my point of view. Yes we'll, we'll perhaps come on to those gentlemen in a minute um, but perhaps there's been a bit of talk about last year amongst some of your, your teammates and uh, and the job that Wales did in the Millennium Stadium. What have you gleaned from your teammates or, or perhaps maybe where were you last year when that game was being played and, and how do you feel about it? Yeah I remember watching the game on TV it was um, obviously not a, a good moment as, a, as an English supporter and you know potential player um, but to be honest we've not really looked too much at that this, this tournament. Um, I think if anything we just owe it to ourselves this time. Um, you know they're a fantastic team. They've got a lot of momentum, um, but if anything, we owe performance against Wales. You know, to ourselves. And you're coming up against that record Welsh and Lions partnership in in Jonathan Davis and uh, and Jamie Roberts. Is it just br- brute force you get from these guys, or are you expecting a lot more skill? You know, they're both big guys. They're both mobile centres, um, but you know what we've picked up on on the on the footage that we've seen. They're both ball players as well, so. Me and Billy know that we're going to have to be on our toes and the players around us are going to have to be on our toes, you know, because we can't for one second switch off because if we do, they'll get through us and, you know, that's the last thing that we need. Um, so, yeah, you know, the, the British lines for a reason, they've, they've got experience in abundance. What does it do for your personal confidence knowing that you come into this game off a good showing against centres the likes of Brian O'Driscoll? You know, I've got a quiet confidence, but, you know, I'm still learning my trade here. Um, I've had a lot to learn in a short period of time. And, you know, I'm really thankful for the coaches. You know, Faz and Katty have been brilliant with me. Um, so, you know, for me, I'm going to go out on, on Sunday and I'm going to put everything that I've learned so far into, into tuition and hopefully, you know, I'll come off the back of that. I will have learned a lot and hopefully um, I'll come out victorious. Indeed. Well, there's no doubt that you've acquitted yourself very well in the England shirt uh, to date. What about the pressure that's now coming perhaps from behind you, Manu Tuolangi returning to fitness and, and appearing in training? Imagine it's a bit like the sort of Jaws theme coming up behind you. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. You know, he's, um, he's a fantastic player and he's, you know, he's done wonders for England and he's a player that I watched and you know, wanted to play with. He's, um, he's brilliant. So, you know, if he's, he's pushed me for that 13 jersey, it's it's something that I thrive off. I like the competition. Um, you know, he's a good guy, so I'm pretty sure that he'll he'll enjoy the competition as well. And you know, th- this week he's been in training, and the, the intensity has gone up, and it's just fantastic to to be part of something. And just a word, perhaps, on the atmosphere at Twickenham. It was incredible for the Ireland game. Certainly, that last six or seven minutes when when England needed that extra boost in defence to to just keep keep Ireland in their 22. You guys will be looking for the same, I imagine, this weekend in, in another critical clash. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the sports, they could be the difference of this game. They were fantastic against Ireland. I've never experienced anything like that. You know, doing the long walk in, you know, to getting out there and, you know, singing the anthem and, you know, mid-game, we, we could hear them. We were out to be screaming back at each other to get the calls. And like I say, yeah, they could really be the difference. They were fantastic. And, you know, fingers crossed Sunday, they can do exactly the same, if not louder.